Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. And Jesus entered the synagogue, and there was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's always uh, uh, quite a an amazing moment when we uh, picture Jesus entering a synagogue and uh, there are those in the synagogue that uh, are waiting for him to do a miracle so that they can accuse him of doing something wrong on the Sabbath. I mean that's really quite amazing. It really is. Uh, but when we take it to heart um, and especially when we take it to our prayer uh, and in prayer petition, uh, we have generally a certain outcome in mind. And that's what we're expecting. That's what we're looking for. Uh, and then when it, it doesn't necessarily happen that way, there's the temptation to say, why in the world did I pray at all? Why did I pray at all? Um, whereas really the expectation of God working a miracle in our lives really needs to be present every moment of every day because he says to us, each of us, stretch out your hand, the one that's withered, and you will be healed. Uh, in a similar way, no matter what it is, it is the Lord Jesus who approaches us uh, and simply says to us, trust me, I'm there for you. Let's enter this Eucharist now uh, as we receive his body and blood, which is truly the miracle of him self, him giving himself to us personally. 